You are watching a special presentation from Tinkle Group Gaming. Hello everyone and welcome here to the 7-Eleven IndyCar Series race number 15 here today from the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. Um, today we present to you the Bomberito Auto Group 500. I'm Brian here in the booth with you today. Starting from the pole will be Michael Collins in the number 22. To his outside will be Jessica Strauss in the number 98. Of course, as we get going, it is race number 15 of 18 on the season. It is our second to last oval race. The next oval race we will have will be the season finale. That'll take place at Auto Club next week. So with that, let's take a look at the oval standings entering here today. Um, keep in mind there are no double points for the oval championship at Auto Club as you're looking at these it will be for the overall championship only um, and of course Sunday Tuesday next week we will be starting the um, or finishing up the road course championship so road and street will finish up then um, and also keep in mind too as we get going next week going to be kind of a short week I don't know if I released premiere days yet but Sunday Tuesday Wednesday We'll wrap up the season. We are changing it up. It's Thanksgiving week. I did not factor that in when I uh, set the schedule, and I'm very adamant about not wanting to race on holiday weekends. So the championship, the overall championship and the oval championship will take place on Wednesday night. So please keep that in mind as we are changing up the dates to accommodate for the Thanksgiving weekend. All right, let's roll or let's get rolling here at Gateway. Let's show you the starting lineup and when we come back the green flag in just a moment. Here we go. They're on the back straightaway right now as we get ready to go racing here at Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. Michael Collins. Jessica Strauss. Pace car will peel off. And they'll make their way down the long front straightaway. As we are green here at Gateway here comes Colin Cropley down the back straight looking for the lead and Colin Cropley will get it Oh, they're well, oh, they're wrecking behind. Austin Shaw might have been a part of this. Austin Shaw is in the wall. The championship leader brings out our opening caution of the race. And it looks like the leaders are going to pit. They're all trying to get organized right about now. Meanwhile, Colin Cropley, the leader, is going to come to the pit lane. He's going to easily win the race off when they do pit. So with that, let's go see what happened. Looks like Pretty Sean, Noah Sewell, James Qualls, Ben Cohen... They all just get together here, and you see James Qualls hard in the outside wall. But you look ahead, and it just continues from there. Zach Fitzwater, Austin Shaw, and others. You see there, they go for a nice spin. Kind of back up on the front straight there. Really tough break for these leaders. Here on the opening lap, we'll take you back to the green in just a moment. 
Here we go. We're getting ready to go back racing here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. You see Reggie Fogelman and Noah Swell both a lap down to start the race. That is bad news for Reggie Fogelman as he is still in this title hunt. And trying to catch Austin Shaw. Meanwhile up front, Colin Cropley. Alexander O, Michael Collins, Zach Fitzwater, Jessica Strauss, we're back underway. Michael Collins up to second, he's looking for the lead. And you see once again, they're scattering all over the place. Michael Collins to the race lead. And you see behind battle for third, Daniel Gittero. He's really been strong here on the ovals of late. He is not in the regular season battle, or the full season battle, but he is battling for the oval title. And he's sure making, he's definitely making sure he is the one that is in this battle. You see back here, J.P. Morgan making up spots. That is bad news for the 48. Again, J.P. Morgan is the guy that's chasing him. See, no shifting, but... Hanging tough in fifth gear. He's going to try the outside there. Now he's going to try to set himself up to pass Casey Naneko going into turn one. He might have to lift and watch this battle in front of him. He's got Reggie Fogelman right behind him. Keep in mind that is not a battle for position as Reggie Fogelman's trying to go to the front to gain his lap back. Keep in mind again no wave arounds, no free passes. So Reggie Fogelman, Noah Sewell, they are going to have to earn their laps back the hard way. As up front, Michael Collins is taking a three-tenths of a second lead over the seven of Daniel Gittero, and Gittero is closing. Fitzwater hangs in third, just a little bit ahead of the 15 of Colin Cropley. Here we go, battle for the lead. Michael Collins, Daniel Gittero. Here he goes, looking. Will he get there? Yes, he's got the wing. Now he's alongside of him and he is going to take the position away. So Daniel Gittero to the race lead here at Gateway. Again, after today, we go to Montreal. That'll be race number 16 on Sunday. Then on Tuesday, we go to Laguna Seca. Then normally we would have the race on Friday, but this week because of thank or next week because of Thanksgiving, 
our race will be on Wednesday night. Under the lights, the championship battle from Auto Club. That will be at that'll be at 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. So you won't want to miss that. That'll be the overall championship and the oval title. That'll be up for grabs on Wednesday night. Michael Collins trying to battle back. And Michael Collins just not going away here. Tell he really wants to battle, and you see he slides up the track. He took it in just a little too deep, trying to gain some spots. He, he dove it in there, thought it would stick, and unfortunately it didn't. And he washes up the track. He falls back to now half a second back of the seven. He's just going to have to regroup. And it looks like he will. And very thankful he didn't lose as much time as he did trying to pull that move. See, he wants to stay to that inside groove. He definitely wants to get clean air to the wing, of, to the front wing of that car. And there he'll close up the retents. Again, he's faster, but this is like a short track. You gotta have some patience here. And I'm sure that's the one thing they're stressing to their drivers. You see the seven drift up the track. That'll open the door for Michael Collins. And just see how close they are. You see he's giving him a little room. But he's essentially taking his line away now. They must be relaying to Daniel, you know, look. Look at where that 22 is running. He's running just a hair above that darker groove there. That's where you want to be is what I'm assuming they're relaying to him. And essentially now he's taking the line away. And you see it's paying off because now the gap is expanding. Yep, and you see that's where he's running. But then you see he closes down. He goes toward those rumble strips to the inside. And you can definitely see it based on the gap. He's definitely gaining some time now. It's up to four tenths. Yeah, now Michael Collins not really able to gain anything. He loses another tenth there. You see Gittero running in sixth gear. 
Meanwhile, all of his opponents behind him are running in that fifth gear. So I kind of want to go on board and see what the thinking is for Daniel Gittero, assuming he doesn't pit. So it's right on the cockpit. And you see he's not redlining. He's kind of maintaining that gap around four tenths of a second. Does he redline here? The caution's out so we won't even get to see. But you wonder if that was a method to save some fuel. Yeah, he saw the caution flag fly and it might have been Reggie Fogelman. It was. Reggie Fogelman involved in this one. See the seven pitting. And he's the only leader coming to the pit lane. This could be interesting now. The 22 and the 60 stay out. 06 playing it smart. He's coming in. If I'm the 48, ah, I'd pit, yeah, and you see right there, he's coming in. Again, I'm trying to monitor that battle between the 06 and the 48 for the overall championship. And it's a good thing he did pit, because I feel like these fresh tires will, will pay dividends. Again, he's got a heavily damaged race car, but the main thing is he wants to be right there with the 06. 06 is going to be second or, second or third off the pit lane. But again, you want to be on the same strategy as him. That's kind of what I was going to say, but let's go see what happened. It looks like it was a mechanical issue for the 26. You see he's slowing down to make the corner. And right there, something must have broke. And you see he goes down to the rumble strips. He's trying to stay out of the racing groove. And unfortunately, he comes to a stop right here out of turn two. Probably trying to refire it, and unfortunately he couldn't do so, so they had to tow him to the pits to fix the issue. Tough break for Reggie Fogelman. This will certainly put a dent in his run to try to chase down that 48 in the 06. We'll take it back to the green in just a moment. Getting ready for the restart here. It'll be Mitchell Collins and Daniel Voiles. Those are the last two to stay out. And they will stay out and lead the race as we go back green. Daniel Gittero, Samat Ozkan, J.P. Morgan. Those are the first three that did pit under the caution. So get ready. It's going to be a battle of old tires versus the new ones. As we make our way to the restart, the green flag is out. We're back racing at Gateway. Samad Ozkan looking to battle his teammate. And look at him, they're going to split the leaders here. And Samad Ozkan to the race lead. And I think we just saw the 98 go for a ride. And somehow might have saved it. And you see there, Mitchell Collins is done. He's like, yeah, we just got swarmed. We're done here. So they will pit Daniel Voiles, Mitchell Collins, as they basically just got split for those top two positions. And Samad Ozkan, now the race leader. Daniel Gittero runs second. Then you got J.P. Morgan running in third. So now here's the question. I don't remember how close Samet is to the overall title. I imagine he can still, he's still mathematically in it but needs a lot of help. Daniel Gittero is still in the oval title. But again, he might need some help to win it. How do these two go about it? 
because, I mean, 53 points you could walk out of here with, maybe even 54 if you're lucky. And you see Samet's lead growing. Meanwhile, you got JP, Morgan, and Casey Naneko battling right behind you. And JP Morgan's got to be hungry here to gain some points. And you see there he's losing positions. He just lost one to the 9. He's going to lose one to the 3. And if I'm JP, I've got to defend a little bit better in this situation. Okay, Austin Shaw is trying to limp to the finish. you got Reggie Fogelman, your closest competitor that is out of the race, essentially. He's three laps down. Lead now up to two seconds as Samet will look for, I believe, his second win of the season here in IndyCar. Oh, the nine drifts up the track into the marbles. Door to door, three wide down the front stretch. This is almost as entertaining as Homestead the other night. Oh, the 30 drifts up. And the 06 is going backwards. He's down to 8th. He could fall as low as 9th. Now 10th. With that 45 down low. And he drifts up the track again. He's got a teammate back there. Zach Fitzwater. Will he be nice enough to let that... 06 to the inside. That's one thing I think if I'm Michael Shank, I'm considering right here, like, hey man, that's your teammate. He's battling for this title. Let him go. And no, that's not going to be the case. Fitzwater will take the position. So now you move the 06 back to 10th. The 48 runs 16th. He can't afford to be giving up these positions. It's now Austin Shaw's looking inside. Again, he's got a banged up race car. Oh, wheel to wheel with the 24. I don't know if I liked that too much. See JP struggling with that 27. Now Michael Collins takes the top 10 spot. So JP now down to 11th, Austin Shaw up to 16th, he's going to lose 16th to Eli Wolf. Oh, someone was up in the wall, I think it was the 22. The Met is catching lap traffic. That is the 98 of Jessica Strauss, who now runs in that 25th spot. Five laps down, so it would appear that Reggie's gained one spot. And there we go, the lap traffic moment. 98 does not want to get in this. So he lets the five go.
We got 11 to go here. The lead now up to about five seconds. Now we come to 10 to go. And look at the lead. He's grown here. 5.2 seconds back to second. And that's a teammate. However, excuse me, however, Daniel Guitero is under pressure for that second spot, and he's doing a good job of holding him off. Nicey Ben Cohen looking for third. He'll take it. Now they're all going to have to get around the 98. Looks like the three is going to struggle with that. But again, let's go back. Let's take a look at that 06, who's still in quite a battle now with Alex Tanker. Back in 11th. He might fall to 12th here. But again, where's the 48? He's been within about seven positions of him. He's down to 18th again. You can see that damage. He's just not able to make up the ground that he'd like to make up. How's about this? The five just lapped the one of Nikolai Sykes. The lead now grows to six seconds. Oh, the five drifts up, but again, he's got a big lead. He doesn't have to worry this point it would take a caution and even then if they don't pit he's gonna have at least one lapped car maybe two between him and the cautions out just as I mention it I don't know who went spinning but I saw some smoke And Samet's lead is gone, and he's only got the one, Nikolai Sykes, between them, and Daniel Gittero. Now it'll be interesting to see if we get a restart. Let's go see what happened. This battle for third was so insane for a bit there. Carter Joey, Ben Cohen, unfortunately it looks like Carter Joey just gets really tight and just drifts up the track into the 8 and then spins out here. He hits that outside wall. Unfortunate break for our Homestead winner. We'll see if we get a restart when we come back in just a moment. Okay, I hope I'm seeing right. It looks like we're going to get a two lap, we're going to get... An unofficial green-white checkered finish. It'll be Samedo's con Daniel Gittero, Ben Cohen, Zach Fitzwater, Max Anderson, your top five, Andrew White, six, Colin Cropley, seventh, Michael Collins, eighth, Casey Naneko, ninth, J.P. Morgan rounds out the top ten as we're back underway. Two laps to go at Gateway. The seven looked, the one said no. Oh, they're wrecking off the corner. Did that draw caution? They're pitting. Zach Fitzwater is staying out, and he will be the leader. White flag, one lap of racing to go, presented by Mitchell's Memes.
Zach Fitzwater might have just pulled off a remarkable victory. And how's about this? Austin Shaw has stayed out. And he's going to gain a few spots on the 06. Unbelievable. As through turn four, Zach Fitzwater is going to pick up the win here today at Gateway. Unbelievable. What we just saw. We thought these guys were good on fuel, and they weren't. Which makes you wonder why they didn't pit under the caution. Zach Fitzwater is a winner here today. How's about Carter Joey, too, to rebound and finish second? Oh, the 26 almost hit the pit wall I don't think he was looking where he was going but congratulations again to the 60 he gets the job done here today at Worldwide Technology Raceway the second to last oval of the season we want to thank you for watching here come your results and your standings and we will see you for race number 16 at Montreal until then goodbye everyone